Roger that. So I can confirm. Right, bro. Just eyeball the fucker and pull the trigger. Range, 650 yards. We have a five mile an hour wind, mid range, coming from Ravina. Attempting to confirm target. Sir, Evers pulse, respiration, and GSR are maxing out. What about that? No, he said he has a rock. Looks like he's taking a nap. Running out of time, gentlemen. Okay. Take the shot, Evan. To hit a hot suit, Master Gunny, we gotta Take the fucking shot. Stand down. We're Marine Scout snipers, Captain. We don't abort missions unless we stop breathing. We weren't supposed to make that shot. No one's supposed to. Well, I completed my mission. Back in my days. Fuck I... your day! That was the luckiest fucking shot in the history of lucky fucking shots. Sorry, I broke your toy, Captain. But if a sniper had to depend on that, he'd end up dead. It's not a video game out there. It's all about one shot and one kill. You're a risk, you know that. You're a goddamn liability, and I'm the one not gonna risk getting bored, are we? I'm not cutting into your precious drinking time, am I? Begging the captain's pardon, sir, but yes, sir, I am, and yes, sir, you are, sir. I don't like you, Master Gunnery Sergeant. I don't care about that fucking deal you made with the Corps. You fell at medical last week. I'll bury your ass back in the real world. Rest your promise. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.
Ya, just like that. We decided to forego the speeches today because of an unavoidable absence. Is that Beckett you're talking about? He probably got lost on the way to the bar. <laughs> well, he's right. No way I could do this without a couple of tall ones. <laughs> to me. I knew I'd make it. Give me the honors. <clears throat> Actually, these kind of affairs scare the hell out of me. <laughs> Neil, many years ago, the old man made me promise him something. That were he not able to attend your wedding day, I would read this letter to you. If that grunt Beckett is reading this, then I didn't make it. I'm hoping this part of the letter is being read at your wedding. I just wanted to let you know that I love you. And that I wish you and your bride Nothing but happiness. Love her and cherish her always. And may you both live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. You know, I've been holding on to this for a long time. Now I think it's yours. Congratulations. Thanks, Tom. <clears throat> Jocelyn and Neil Finnegan. Every time I look at Neil, I see the man I'm never going to be. Mm. Well, I'm sure his father would be very proud of him. Mm -hmm. No, this is a circus. She's got her eyes set on the White House. It won't stop till she gets in there. Mm. He's the son of a war hero. Graduates mm. first in his class at Annapolis. Harvard School of Government. Mm -hmm. Climbing his way up the political ladder. Honestly, living in the hard work. Hell, he's got my vote. Mm -hmm. Your hand's shaking. When did that start? Oh, it's a few months ago. It's nothing. Oh, might be. Might mm -hmm. not. You should stop by the office and let me look in it. Hmm? <sighs> okay. The Marine Scout snipers, the only time we abort a mission is when we stop breathing, sir. It's a very big mistake. Besides the obvious, his conduct record since returning from Europe has been questionable. Sykes are a bit disturbing. And he's just old. He's the same age I am. We may get one shot and one shot only. I want Beckett. He suffered nerve damage when you lost the finger. The condition has been steadily deteriorating ever since. The digitwin tendon main function normally flexes and extends the finger. But right now, a damaged hand. You could have an involuntary reflex at any time, and that's more likely to occur in a high-stress situation. Neural serotonin also looks like the early stages of cancer. Forever, you know. Yeah, I know. I was just hoping to make it to 65. <laughs> you know, you should think about getting on with your life. And do what? Well, she wants someone special, you know. Settle down. Oh. Yeah. Well, why didn't you? I didn't do it. Well, I guess um, it's a few years I haven't fallen in love. And besides, you're not the answer to me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We had some good times, the three of us, down at Camp Lejeune, remember? Mm -hmm. Ah, shit. Good. He didn't come back. A lot of you know I didn't come back. Why don't you get out of that hole they left you in between those tables, Neil? Look. Tell you the truth. I've been living out of a sea bag all my life. 
Only got a few more weeks of the training session, and then we'll probably have this shipment out to some other duty station somewhere. Well, you should call me sometime and ask me to dinner. I haven't had a date in 30 years. <laughs> Sid, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone about this. John Hanks. What is it? Oh, Meg. Good luck. Took it off a gook a couple of days ago. Get an answer, Matagon. The door was unlocked. I probably wanted clowns to wake me up. <clears throat> I would have tried a circus. <clears throat> With all due respect, Master Guns, you should have been a comedian. What the hell do you want? We have orders to take you in to go see the brass, Master Gun, Sergeant. Yeah, well, I don't want to see the brass. Sir, sure, you can have your pick of a dozen of the corps' best snipers. But the lovers is a particularly good chance. Not interested in it. I'm interested in Thomas Beck. Beckett, this is NSA Deputy Director William Avery. We know each other, Captain. We serve each other. A lifetime ago, sir. Best goddamn sniper I ever had the privilege of working with. Well, thank you, sir. What can I do for you? Tom, I want you on a plane tomorrow. To where, sir? Vietnam. Captain. I want you to take out a target there. The Mountain Warlord from Phum Bac, he and his rogue army run opium, stolen goods, weapons, almost anything they can get their hands on. Well, sounds like a pain in the ass for the Vietnamese, sir. Why are we getting involved? He's graduated up to bigger and better things. We have intelligence leads us to believe he's been talking business with the Jama Islamia. Oh, what kind of business? Terrorism. He's ventured into the big leagues. Well, with all due respect, sir, um, I don't wear much here. Do we even know what he looks like? Captain Laird, will you? Would you mind excusing us?
Of course, guys. shipped home. What was left of the body? A body. It's a long story, Tom. Let me try to explain some of it. During the last days before the fall of Saigon, Paul Finnegan was recruited. Recruited by who? CIA. His first stop was to help the Khmer Rouge run heroin out of the highlands. His cut financed covert operations. And as the years passed, our interests changed. Finnegan was offered a new op, but the jungle had changed him. That patriotic fervor had changed into something else. Something that makes him dangerous. He's a threat to you, me, his family, and his country. Welcome to the tunnels, Connie. What the hell's he doing here? Is there any other way to handle this? A deal, an arrangement? There's no other way. We've learned the Ho Chi Minh police have set up a sting to capture him. That cannot happen. If he is identified, you can imagine the problems that we might face, the explanations, not to mention the effect on his family, his son. You're asking me to kill the man who saved my life? I know how incredibly bizarre this must seem to you, Tom, but believe me, this is not the man that you once knew. Over the years, he has become a cold-blooded killer. I'm ashamed to say we bear some responsibility for that and uh, an obligation to rectify the mistake. As a sniper, you have the option to refuse the mission, but I need an answer, Tom, by 0800. I'll understand if you can't do this. I'll find somebody else. No observer with me. I don't want anybody else's hand in it. How can you be so sure he'll do it when the time comes? One way or another, he will get the job done. It's all he's got left. His life isn't worth a damn unless he's risking it or taking someone else's. Saigon. Thomas. Welcome to Hoshimi, Mr. Vegas. First time in Vietnam? No. Uh, do you want anything, sir? If you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean, and thanks, but no thanks. Are you sure? Because he might can get you anything. You know, anything that you want. I mean, good in his heart. Uh, happy ending. Oh, thank you, sir. Your back has arrived, sir. You must have the wrong room. I already have my back. Not this one. Master Gunnery Sergeant Thomas Beckett. My name is Guan, Detective Ho Chi Minh City Police. Also your operations comp. I gotta give a shit about some badge. What's the operation code name? Cobra. My name. Interesting choice of shirt. You look like a Canadian tourist. You find what you need here? They say you can make million to one shot. You are the go-to guy, yes? They say a lot of things. You ask after your trip, then we have some dinner. We talk. 
I'll show you the spot. Be ready at 11.30. knows I'm here besides you. You talking about the Ho Chi Minh police? No one. They knew I'd be dead. All right. Then how do we work this? How do I find my target? Two weeks ago, I arrested the biggest dealer in Ho Chi Minh City. I convinced him to, uh, how do you say, uh, finger the cobra for us. Why do you call him that? I treat him like he's a king, King Cobra. They're just kids, really. Some barely in their teens. Cut off the head. The snake will die, believe me. Now, the dealer told us about a meeting between a cobra and a new client. We will be there to arrest him. You take him out before that happens. Here in Saigon. <laughs> Saigon. Old happens die hard, huh? One of the establishments the cobra owns. Kapong. Check this out. This is very new. I'm going to make the dealer put it on the cobra. We'll send a signal to your TRS computer. That way it'll be easy to find him in the crowd. By the way, how are your weapons? AW Magnum's just fine. Where'd you get that? Fucking Japanese. Pretty cool, huh? How close do I get to my target? 300 meters, maybe. Outside, inside. Come on, you know, I think it's best I show you. How long have you been a policeman? Six years. When the NSA recruited you? A couple years ago. You see how it is? No better than before. Things need to change. Maybe you guys don't fuck up like last time. Is your old man in the war? Yes. NBA? My father was an American GI, 9th Battalion, 25th Infantry. Nobody here knows this. He died here. Went him to his real family, somewhere in Ohio. See that roof? That's Kapong. The target will be there tonight, round 10. They usually sit at the table on the upper deck. Will it be crowded? It usually is. What about the street? You gotta come and go. The entrance is on the other side, and there's no sniper angle. After you take the shot, abandon your weapon here and buy a ticket on tennis on train. You'll take it to the airport. What about the cleanup? A new identification has been arranged. The body will not be claimed. Police will be satisfied the Cobra is dead, and no one would know who he really was. <coughs> Mr. Beckett, I want to see you after this. Here's my cell phone number. Call me if you need something or if something is wrong. And remember, one shot is probably all you get. One shot is all I need.
in place. The op is online. How's Megan doing? Her contact said he's fine. No hesitations? Doesn't seem so. Target? On the move as we speak. His bio has arrived. So far, so good. If everything goes well, we'll be over in less than 10 hours. Then you'll reach the dog's ear. Because if it doesn't, we're all in deep shit. Sydney, I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh... This is a decent room. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm 30 years away. Please? I'm uh, sorry, Sid. I, I, I'm sorry for waking you. I, you know, I'm... I can feel you. I'm okay, you know. I just... I've been thinking about how you and Neil are... Sometimes I forget how much that's meant to me. And I just want to make sure you do. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Look, uh, I gotta go. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you a call. In a few days, you know, after I get back. I promise. You promise? Yeah. You know it. I love you. Me too. เห็นเนื้อองค์ดาบิดมาบิดมาองค์ดาบอดีมาฮะอ่ะสิก็ได้ไว้มาพี่ๆตายดูมาก็ได้สิตายอันไหนๆนั่นไหนก็ไปจะ
get the most of the target, but he took out our goddamn backup. Fucked. Truly fucked. Where is he now? The Vietnamese police have it. Should be easy for our man to get to him, right? Our contact is not training. Then get someone who is. Talk to me! I told you. My name is Beckett. Thomas J. Beckett. And what are you doing here? Thomas J. Beckett. Soaking up Asian culture. The man you killed on the roof, he was Cambodian national. Maybe you two got something to do with what happened at Kong tonight. Club Kong? Look, I want to speak to the American consul. Sir, you're back. The National Police have taken over the place. Well, you should have thought of that when you changed the plan and forgot to tell me about the secondary events. I'll see what I can do. Sure. I changed your mind. Fucking Avery lied to you, Tommy. Something you killed us out in Kong. Which lie? The one about you dealing drugs? Or running weapons? What did your mind want to know? <laughs> you know about that, huh? <laughs> Why, Ben? What other choices did that man have? I gave my life to serve God and country. When you're dealing in death, who's God and country do you serve? Last thing I need is a sermon about death from an assassin. I did the job they asked and they sold me out! Well, why didn't you come home when it ended? <laughs> this is my home. It was always my home. I knew it the second we hit that LZ at Tainan. After that first night, I knew I wasn't going back. Tommy, I was alive here! Even all the death, I was alive. Nothing ever made me feel like that back there. Nothing and no one. <laughs> Some people are born for war. This isn't war, Finn. This is madness. What about Sid and Neil? You know, your son just got married. I delivered your note as promised. They don't exist. They haven't existed for over 30 years. It was better that way. Forever now. Someone tried to kill me after I took the shot. You're in it now. You should quit running around. In what? That's what they're afraid of. You're not the first one to come down. They've been trying for years. That's why I stay in the ditch. <laughs> Sorry you got yourself into this. But then you always were an idealist. That's what they counted on, Tommy. Neil's the one I feel sorry for. He thinks he's the son of a war hero.
Every day I watch this world descend into hell. I'm just trying to find myself a nice, comfortable seat with a good view. <laughs> Damn police station at Ho Chi Minh. What? Hello. Listen to me, you little fucking don't you say a word. Meet me at the People's Unification Building in two hours. You come alone, I'll tell the Ho Chi Minh police who you really work for. I didn't know what they were going to do. They never. Hello? told me to hit on you as part of the operation. I swear. Hang on my phone again. Don't worry, they still identifying bodies. I spent years trying to forget this shit. You really think it was gonna be that easy? You're gonna get me out of here. And go where? You're gonna get me another rifle and a sidearm. And go where? If he's alive, he's in the ditch. Hang on a sec, Senator. We have some people in Phnom Penh. They should be in Ho Chi Minh in less than an hour. The bad news is that our boys went AWOL. What do you mean, AWOL? He hasn't checked in. What about Finnegan and Beckett? They're still IDing bodies, but neither of them are on the list so far. I don't fucking believe this. I'm gonna have to call you back. No, it's under control. Beckett is still alive. And he's gotten to our boy. I know. Finnegan were friends? I mean, real good friends? Yeah. He saved my ass once. This must be hard then. Yeah. But he's a bad guy. I know. How do you know he's up to hide in? Not in. Under. When I knew Finnegan, he was a tunnel rat. Everybody knows about them and what they did. Yeah, well, they did what they had to do. Some say they like it. I'm not supposed to like it. What the fuck do you know about war? How can you be sure he's there? Because when I was in the jail, he slipped. He mentioned something about being in the ditch. And that's what the rats call the tunnels. Don't you think we should contact someone? Someone you can trust? Right now, I don't trust anybody. that police or NSA NSA clear pursuit of the signal and boys headed towards Tan Min Beckett's with him he's going after Finnegan Stevie York, we're the sixth
Start news time. Don't let anything through here midday. Head into the jungle. No one's right. He's headed home. You really expect to go in there by yourself and come out alive? No. You're going with me. But what do I want to do next? Well, you wanted to know why they tried to kill me. The answer's in there. With Finnegan. You see, there's something he didn't tell me. The real reason they sent me. And it was supposed to end with him and me. Where the hell did you dig this up? It's my father's. Oh, he left behind. I learned to shoot with it. Is it okay? Best damn sniper rifle ever made, if you ask me. You didn't tell me your old man was a sniper. You didn't ask. Ten boating units found the cell phone on the side of the road to Tay Nguyen. They must have figured out it was traceable. Not they. But Beckett. What do we do now? We tell them to keep looking. And we pray to God that they find Beckett before he finds Finnegan. Back in the city town. We're never gonna find this place.
gonna wind up. I know. Finnegan knows we're here already. It's just a game with him. We won the first round. Pass go. Collect two hundred dollars. Now it's our chance to spend it. What? It's a game. You know, like mahjong. Close to me and do as I say. How do you know which way to go? I don't. Right. I just yell out and tell them we're here. Oh, I couldn't see. No lights. W.A. niggas with attitude. You know, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, the rappers. Sounds like fucked up niggas. What kind of idiots would write a song like that? You gotta try to sing it with Bob Seger.
think you can kill my Roy. Hang on. My death with Tao. Part of this? He is now. We brought him along for a reason. I'm thinking agency or maybe NSA. I'm not going to waste your time trying to justify myself, Tommy. We're both killers, different kinds. When I kill a man, it's because he needs killing. I look at his life, and if it adds up to nothing, I take him out. But you, Finn, you got to liking it. I never did. So what's this all about, Finn? How does it all end here? It's about Stevie York. You remember Stevie, don't you? Say hello to Stevie York. What the hell's he doing here? The AP photographer? About Stevie and me and Avery. And Gaylor. John Gaylor, the senator? Soon to be president, some say. What about Stevie York? He filmed it all. We were higher than kites. Smoking and hunting for three days without sleep. There was nine of them. Six men and three women. When it was done, we started getting paranoid. We'd make York destroy the film. But as the days passed, Gaylor and Avery kept getting more and more psycho on me. So we made a pact, the three of us. And then we killed Stevie and made it look like the NBA did. So what now, Tommy? What's our next move?
Tell you what. You can just walk out of here and go home. If I leave, the cop goes with me. Go! Get out! Big head! You know I can't let that happen, Tommy. You're gonna have to kill me. The only way I see it from here is to kill him. What's your old saying? One shot, one kill? <laughs> How about one shot, two kills? A million to one. Isn't that what they used to say? George, they're going to kill me one way or another. He's right, Tommy. Take your best shot. The Digitwin tendon flexes and extends the finger. Time's running out for one of us. Come on, Tommy, make your move. See you, the mongoose. And again, the mongoose. It's uh, it's Ovi and his hotel. When God created the cobra, He made him king. As time passed, the cobra became so powerful He thought He was God. So God created the mongoose to take His power away. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Whatever you want. I want the power now. Are you kidding me? It's true. I told you, but just kids, kids do anything. Listen to me. There's a Colonel McKenna. Colonel Dan McKenna, military intelligence. He's stationed at the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. I want you to contact him, and only him. Tell him what happened here, and tell him I'll need a dust off in two days where the Kampong and Maybone Rivers meet here in Cambodia. You gotta come back with me. I'm gonna be looking for a new one of mine. I think it's safer if I DD across the border in Cambodia. Can you ask him that? Go and tell him Allison, we bon come bon. Go and put you out. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, yeah. You trust me to do this? If in two days I get there and there's not a chop over to back me out, then I guess I was wrong about you. Back here. You're one hell of a shot. Guys. Guys.
news of the senator's departure must be very troubling for the president, considering it was just two days ago that one of his most trusted advisors, William Avery, deputy director of the NSA, was found dead in apparent suicide. 